had the shortest flight ever to Langkawi. When we got there, we just had some dinner at this nice restaurant. We had music, we had a seafood restaurant. There was cute little cats outside, and this was our food. After dinner, we watched a fire show and walked around. a more chilled out place here so we're just taking our time we've got six, five six days here um so we're not in a rush to do anything we've got time to actually do some planning last night we just watched a film um and then we're gonna try and get i think an island hopping tour and um something about a mangrove <laughs> I meant um, kayaking in the mangroves. Um, we're just stopping off for a small lunch and then we're gonna just wander around the island for a bit. Um, yeah, to the beach. Don't think we're going for a swim. I've heard there's like jellyfish in the sea, but we'll see. Um, and then if there's not, we can go swimming tomorrow maybe. But it's very hot, I've had to cover up because I'm gonna burn. <laughs> this is a picture of Sanang Beach in Langkawi. Um, I think we're gonna book on yeah an island hopping one and a mangrove one maybe, but the island hopping we found for like thirty five ringgit each, and the mangrove one and two we found for like eighty eighty, um, but that was an offer so it was two of us, uh, and that comes with lunch and I think transfer too, um, I need to message the man. <laughs> This was the guy we bought the tours from. I don't remember the name of the place. We're just um, in Kua town in Langkawi looking for some Chinese food. And then we're gonna go explore the Eagle Square, which is their landmark. And the park, I think it's called Legend Park. Going there. And then we're gonna try and pass some time till six because I'm gonna see the night market here. I think it's open from six till ten. Um, we miss the night market right next to our hostel. Um, it only happens every Thursday, and we saw it when we were on the way to um, Senang Beach, which is unfortunate. But there's gonna be plenty of night markets, so it's okay. We ended up going for some Thai food. This was supposed to be one of the best places for Thai food in. To a town. They were supposed to have the best mango sticky rice, but they didn't have any mango sticky rice when we went. So we had some sweet and sour fish and then like some rice. Just at Legend Park now. There's a nice little kind of beach, but you're not allowed to swim in it. Um, we saw some squirrels in the trees earlier and we've just been watching some ants. <laughs> I don't know if you can see all the ants. There's a big ant and we helped them get a dead caterpillar. <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing here. I think I'm pretending to be some sort of bird. Saw a Komodo dragon in the, the lake and there were some turtles as well. We've just had a few drinks at this cafe to try and pass some time. It's almost six but we're just having a stroll through the park again and we're by the eagle the eagle square um just having a look at the pier you see <laughs> and then yeah we're gonna go to the night market try out some food and then get grabbed back the grab costs about 25 um yeah like five pounds um and then it's an early night tonight because we've got a 9am start tomorrow for the mangrove tour. There also some street art we saw. At the night market there was a lot of food to choose from, all quite reasonable prices from desserts to like satay sticks to drinks and there were also some clothes um, and fruits. Um, I didn't record much of the clothes because there were so many, 
And there's food again. We got some satay from here, which is very cheap. So for food tonight, we've got some dim sum. That costs like six. Now we ended up getting some skewers. We got about five. But um, <laughs> I think we got an expensive one because we got a lamb one. And that cost ten, but I think the lamb was six. And then we got our juice. And then we're going to come back for dessert. Some dim sum from this place. So we stayed till it got dark and we got some chocolate cake with like a flan on top. We have to do the mango peel today. Just waiting to be picked up. Um, starts at nine till five, I think. Oh, there's the car. Um, I'll do another video on with that. It's not for us, still waiting. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's nine till five. And I think we're having some lunch there. And then they drop us back off at the hotel. Bow bun for breakfast. So we're just going to the fish farm and restaurant lunch and the toilet break and then we're going on the river cruise and I think there's a bat cave, a crocodile cave we're going to and like a bit of the, the border where Thailand crosses somewhere and then a beach for half an hour of beach swimming depending on like jellyfish in the sea. I think it depends on the colour of the flag. Um, I, I think I've missed something but was this is a little floating restaurant slash fish farm. So at the fish farm they have different fish for each little square and they try to grow them there so they don't go extinct and it's easier to see. Here's the guy trying to get a fish out. So 100 kilo of it, 100 kilo <laughs> And this is a little bit leopard shark that they rescued that kept coming back when they tried to release it into the wild. Okay, now this one over here, they are so tame. So, like this leopard shark here, they are harmless to people actually. And here's some rocks that look like a gorilla. And then we made our way to the forest with the monkeys that swim. The mafia, and apparently there's like two sides of the mangrove trees. And if one of the monkeys cross over, they basically attack because they're very territorial. Here you can see the very underwhelming crocodile slash alligator cave. We couldn't go into the cave because it wasn't low tide. So this was the most we could go in. Then we went into a cave with thousands of bats. It wasn't as cool as the Puerto Princesa cave I've previously been to. But it was still okay. And you keep going through the cave until you reach this exit point where you walk through some very, very shallow water to get out. So we have had to put on these life jackets because we're heading off to the open sea. I think we're going to the board a bit. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> So this is about making its way to the Clem Geo Park Forest sign and then you can take some pictures there which we did and then the boat heads back to the next step. So windy. On our way back we saw some dolphins. Apparently they've not been spotted for months but apparently it also signifies like that the weather's not going to be great for the next few days because that's why they're immigrating. These are my faves, so this was a real treat. And then, yeah, we made our way back to the floating restaurant where we had lunch or dinner. Um, and then it was cats. We had some lovely weather the next day for island hopping. We made our way to the first location which was like a really large lake that you can swim into. So there's an entry of six ringgits for the park. I think you have to pay 20 for a kayak. Go through a few stairs and then you reach this lake where you can swim or they had like these jets that you could use to also swim around it. And then we're off the next island slash beach where these photos were taken it was nice 
After that, we just grabbed some food, and then the next day we just had a chill day, which consisted of planning, and that was our time at Langkawi done. Off to Penang.